Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if you're noticing a random black box appearing on your Windows 10 desktop. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So, a couple of things. The first thing we're going to try is opening up the start menu. Type in device manager. Best result should come back with device manager here. So go ahead and open that up. Double click on display adapters and then right click on whatever display adapter is listed here and select update driver. Select browse my computer for drivers and then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select the manufacturer specific one unless there's only a generic driver available in which case you do whichever one you have the availability to select and then select next. And once you know what that, select close, close out of here. And now I want you guys to open up the star menu, type in CMD, best result, check them back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. So the reason we're opening up a command prompt here is that we're gonna be launching the hardware and devices repair tool. In most newer versions of Windows 10, going back honestly several years at this point, they have removed that from the troubleshooting utility as well as from the control panel options. So some of you guys might be aware of it used to be available in there as well. But I have discovered that they actually do have this tool still available within Windows and you can actually run it from the command line. So just copy it from the description of my video guys and then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window. Right click on it, select edit and then select paste to paste it in. Hit enter on your keyboard. So this will launch the hardware and devices repair tool and go ahead and select the advanced button. Keep it checkmarked where it says apply repairs automatically and then select next. It's been a very long time since I've seen this tool so you know it's nice to know it's still in here. I'm sure there are reasons why it's not as forward facing as it was before but you know what it's definitely worth a shot here to give it a try. So you can see an unexpected error has occurred while troubleshooting. So we're going to go select close on that. Hopefully you guys don't come across that issue. But we're going to go back to the command prompt window here. And we're going to type in one more command. It's going to be SFC space forward slash scan out. Scan out should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the scan. This will take a couple minutes to run. So please be patient.
Okay, so once that's done, would recommend closing out of here and restart your computer. Okay guys, there you go. So hopefully once you've restarted your system, you should be good to go. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.